introduction to Pilates, Joe Pilates, he was really very forward thinking in his time in the 40, 30s and 40s. The original method, Pilates method, wasn't called Pilates. We coined that name in the late, like 2000, about 2000 is when we coined it Pilates because people were giving it all kinds of different names. Joe Pilates named it himself Contrology. So the art of controlling the body, right? And making good, clean motion. And he was born in 1880. He was really ill. And his doctors told him that he wouldn't survive past age 40. And he decided that I'm not going to subscribe to that. I'm going to find a way to keep myself super healthy. And in fact, he did. He lived till his 70s. His life's work was healing his body. And then he decided that if he could do it for himself, he could help other people do it too. And so that's how he developed his movement practice. During World War I, he was working um, with rehabilitation of patients in hospitals. A lot of people were dying from secondary illnesses after World War I. So they'd go into the hospital because of a war accident and then they die of pneumonia. But what he was finding is that the people that he was actually moving in bed and exercising they weren't dying or getting sick as often with those secondary illnesses as the others. So they were actually surviving more just because they were moving in bed and continuing to move. And the way that he had them moving was via the hospital bed and the little poles and trapezes around the hospital bed. He started stringing up springs to those and elastics and ended up with this Cadillac. We call this one the Cadillac, the big with poles on both sides. And that's how, that was the first piece of equipment that he invented was this hospital bed, or now we call it Cadillac. I, everybody always asks me, where does the name Cadillac come from? And I have no idea how it came from hospital bed to Cadillac, but uh, maybe the Cadillacs of hospital bed. <laughs> I don't know. And then the other piece of equipment followed after that. They all have a little cool story behind them too. Reformer is the moving one that we'll spend a lot of time on today to reform the body. There's the Wanda chair which was uh, actually he tried to design a office chair that you could flip over on it. So it would be, you'd be sitting on your office chair and then you could get up and flip it backwards and it would become an exercise chair. So he was really about getting people moving uh, during their day. And so that now we have a Wanda chair or a combo chair as well. And then we have arcs and, and a big barrel, which are really nice uh, apparatus for opening and stretching and doing all kinds of other crazy things. As you get more advanced, things get can be a little bit crazy. 